Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's YouTube video is going to be Pendulum FTK gameplay. If you guys want to see the Pendulum FTK in action, you've come to the right place. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Also, if you guys want to get better at this game, check out the Patreon down in the description below. And let's get straight into this video, baby. Pendulum FTK right here, right now. Best deck in the game. Let's go. Pendulum FTK, baby. Let's go. I'm going to show you guys right here, right now. Pendulum FTK gameplay. If you guys are ready for this, you guys need to smash the subscribe button, baby. Let's hit 55,000 subs, bro. I want to hit 55,000 subs by tomorrow. By tomorrow. I know half you guys aren't sub. Anyways, let's get straight into this. So with this hand, my, my hand's not the best. My hand's really not the best. I have a lot of excess cards. It's not the absolute best hand in the world. But I don't care. We're going to be I. Right. We going to be I. Right. We going to be I. Right. We're going to scale Curtain Razor. The Duelist Alliance will be dead for the rest of the duel. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. This is still game. We're going to put up the Curtain Razor. And then we're going to activate the Star Pen Graph. We're going to normal summon Double Iris. This will now allow the fact that Star Pen Graph could trigger. Same with Electrum can trigger. Because, uh, yeah, so they'll both trigger. And then we'll be able to search our Wisdom Eye. Wisdom Eye will be able to get us whatever we need. Now, the biggest issue with getting Wisdom Eye here is we won't have access to Harmonizing. But because we open Curtain Razor, it doesn't matter. Because once you get access to Electrum before your Pen Summon, you're able to get anything. Now, you guys make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. Because for those who don't know how the Pendulum FTK works, you don't understand, man. It's 99% consistent. Like, if you don't have a Hand Trap, you're getting, you lose. And if your Hand Trap is Max C, it doesn't matter. You're playing through Max C. You're FTKing them. Like, you're doing 8,500 burn damage. You're killing them. So they could draw 17 times. It doesn't matter. And the whole play makes Ash Blossom useless. So if they draw into Ash Blossom, they're dead. And a lot of combo decks, the only hand traps they're playing are Max C and Ash Blossom for Ash Blossom to stop the Max C. So <laughs> it's insane. And a lot of hands, if our hand was better, we're setting up an Appaloosa or a Vortex first before we actually go into our FTK. So that's pretty awesome. Here we have a lot of things we can send to be TBH. We have a lot of things we can send. In my eyes here, I'm like, yo, you know, I want to get an Astrogoth. I want to start looping Astrogoth. But at the same time, I also know that this FTK is just Pendulum Summon, your typical five, just like, you know, Pen 5, and you got the whole FTK. So I'm like, you know, I actually don't need Astrogoth here. So, like, unironically enough, I don't need Astrogoth for this hand. We have one useless card in our hand here. We have a weird way. We can't even loop Astrograph. I'm like, that's high. I don't, I don't even need it. I, I literally just don't even need it. Here, Electrum Effect to draw will trigger. We get Magician Souls. Magician Souls, even though it looks good here, it doesn't do a lot for us because uh, Magician Souls does not allow us to play around uh, hand traps. I'll explain how. If we go Souls, draw two, Selene, bring a Appalooza. The issue with that is at the end, our board still has five monsters. And to do this FTK, we need two Starving Venoms and a Verte Anaconda. We're not relying on Gate Zero Infinity to search. A lot of people used to rely on the, uh, this FTK with Gate Zero and Infinity. But because Electrum is only at one, and I actually expect Electrum to get hand trapped. I don't care if Electrum gets hand trapped. 99% of these, 90% of these hands are doing the FTK through one hand trap. 99% of, do it, of them do it through zero hand traps. Here I opt to use Soul's Effect because I had some useless cards. I'm like, okay, this can go so many ways now. This can go so many ways. I can go, like, literally infinity ways. I actually have a way to play around Nibiru. What I do here is I go Selena Palooza. And then I I, special, I pen five. I save my Sky Iris for later. And then I go Sky Iris, pop Black Fang to bring out the Magician Souls. That Magician Souls make Diverte. So I play around Nibiru here. I just didn't do it because, in my opinion, Nibiru is not even worth playing around. Like, I literally don't think Nibiru is worth playing around. So I should have saved this Black Fang because if I saved it, then I go Selena Palooza with the Souls uh, uh, Electra, my Pen 5. And then I just use a Sky Iris at Black Fang after my Starving Venoms are up. And then when the uh, Souls special, get special summoned by the Black Fang, those two make Verte. So my board would be double Starving Venom Verte. Verte would send the Instant Fusion for Lyra Lusk. Starving Venom, copy the Lyra Lusk. And that will be the FTK. So for those who don't know how the FTK works, we re uh, utilize Verte Anaconda and two Starving Venom Dragons. Starving Venom are both banned in the TCG. You send Lyra Lusk Nightingale, the only good Lyra Lusk baby, Penbaz deck, let's go. And the effect allows you to burn 500 times your level. So the Siren Venom copies its effect, and its level is 8. It'll do 500 times 8. That's 4,000 burn damage. Because you activate two of them, which the requirement is two Dark Pendulums, 
just uh, contact fusion. It's easy, easy game. At this point, I'm set. I'm golden. I'm completely golden at this point. I don't want to go in Tapalooza because I'm aware that I'll be one monster off. But that was my slight misplay here where I could have played around the Nibiru. But I truly believe that in this format, if you play on Platinum right now, uh, at least half the decks you're going to play are Elitra Striker. Elitra and Striker have so much popularity on the on the ladder on Platinum that not many people are playing Nibiru. It's still fair that people play Nibiru, but in my honest opinion, in 100 duels, if you play around Nibiru, maybe you'll they'll have Nibiru two or three times in their hand where you actually play around it. Even five times you play around it. But the other 95 times, you have a better hand. You have a better setup. Does that make sense? So here what I do is very simple. Very, very, very simple. I just put up Verte and I pen four. Very simple. This like And they're not saving their hand traps, by the way. If they had Valor, bro, if they had Nibiru, by the way, they're using it right then and there because Apalooza was getting dropped. And two... Uh, like if they want their Nibiru not to be useless, Appaloosa was the most expected play there. So if they had a Nibiru, it was being used. As for this, uh, if they had a Baylor, they don't know I'm playing FTK. It's a best of one. It's a best of one. They don't know I'm playing an FTK. So they're Baylor-ing the Electromite. They're imperming the Electromite. They're Ashing Duels Lions, whatever the heck. So if you get this far, which you're going to be fine, you FTK them. But if they hand trap you into Oblivion, the extra deck is still set up to, instead of FTKing them, you just go... You still, instead of FT Kingdom, you still put up a Pendulum Negates. It's like you're playing Pendulums at that point. The extra deck is made both for going first and second after the FTK. Like, there is a lot of space in the extra deck. The extra deck is built to still be able to put up interruptions if your FTK gets interrupted by hand traps. And if you're going second, you still want the prowess of breaking boards with many cards. Now, I'm not going to be showcasing the deck profile, but if you guys want to see the deck profile of my updated pendulum ftk version even more updated than the deck profile you or the combo tutorial you're watching here let me know in the comments and i would love to post it in a few days just let me know in the comments if you guys want to see it if enough people want to see it i'll showcase you guys my deck list as well as my updated comment tutorial oh uh, the comment tutorial is the exact same just the updated deck list so here as you see i use verte anaconda bring out Lyrilus nightingale they don't have hand traps they would have used it by now so you're safe to play uh, they don't know you're playing FTK. That's the beauty of best of ones. The beauty of best of ones. You activate your starting venom effect, copying your nightingale. Its effect now will copy nightingale's effect where you could check its level. Its level is 8, multiply it by 500. That's how much burn damage you do. So you said 4,000. And because you have two of them, that is 8,000 damage to the face. Pen FTK. See you later. GG, baby. Pen best deck. Let's go. FTK, boys. Haha. <laughs> Pendulum FTK is back. See you later. Have a good one. You got absolutely clocked up, my guy. Penbest Dex, all I got to say. And the funny thing is that he made me go first. Nice choice, pal. Panic King. He's panicking, all right? He is panicking, all right? <laughs> He's panicking, all right? He's probably sitting there like, what the heck? What the heck just happened? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys got this far, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Also, check out the playmats on tripgaming.com if you guys want to get the best playmats in the game. Lastly, lastly, boys, 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 listen. Patreon, baby. If you guys want to get better at the Pen FTK and every other deck we showcase, there's daily videos on Patreon on Master Duel gameplay every single day. Go check it out right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next video. Peace.